Good afternoon, friends. Our scripture for this Sunday, it comes from the book of Matthew in chapter 10, and, it, and it's just three uh, verses. And so I, I thought I'd actually just read those for you here this afternoon. In, in verse 40, the gospel writer says, and this is Jesus speaking, anyone who welcomes you welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. This is a, a pewter cup that was given to me as a gift at my ordination by my late uncle, Tom Reader. And, and it has inscribed on it the words, even a cup of cold water, a reference to, to this Bible verse here in Matthew 10. You see, my, my grandfather was a, was a Methodist minister who had a pastoral assistance Fund, uh, much like we have here. It's, it was used and, and is used here to assist members of the community uh, that are in need. It equips the pastors to be able to respond. And, and, and he called it the Cup of Cold Water Fund. Last Friday, our director of youth and college ministry, Chandler Gelb, uh, she shared in, in her devotional, in, in, in her This One Thing, um, that, that God will, will often put it on our hearts to reach out to someone, that we will, we will sense that we are supposed to call or, or, or make contact, and indicating that even the smallest gesture can make a difference. And you'll find a link down below here to that devotional if you haven't seen it yet. Check it out. But this, this cup, it sits on my bookshelf as a reminder that, that even the simple, humble gift of, of a cup of cold water can be used for God's purposes. So how is God calling you to participate in God's purposes? I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday as we unpack this more together, and I hope that you have uh, a, a great and blessed week. We'll see you on Sunday.